Hello, welcome to the Rose Meditation for Peace, Harmony and Love. I'm Elizabeth Ashley, the secret healer and the creator of Aromathology. We take the energy of essential oils, some of the best loved essential oils there are, and plants that have been used since the dawn of time for their healing. As you can see behind me, the rose energy is at its highest in June. And so we're going to tap into that and draw on rose healing for ourselves, but also send some out to the rest of the planet too. Now, we'll be closing our eyes and inhaling our rose oil. Now, if you don't have any, don't worry. Anything that's fragranced like a rose is great. Ideally, you will use an actual rose from your garden. If you haven't got that, grab some rose talc or even just imagine a rose. So close your eyes and come on a journey to the most beautiful, loving, sweet plant of all time. Today we're going to take a journey into the Rose Way of Being. Greek mythology tells how the goddess of flowers, Chloris, conjured the rose from the lifeless body of an enchanting nymph. She was aided by the graces who imbued it with charm and brightness and joy. Aphrodite honoured it with beauty. Dionysus, it said, intoxicated it with perfume. And Zephyr, the west wing, ensured that clouds were always blown out of the way so the rose could open her petals to the sun. The rose was crowned the queen of flowers and the motif the goddess of love. the rose predates ancient Greece by eons and today we're honoring the eternal feminine in the way she may have existed before the goddess was fractured into a million pieces back before Aphrodite and Venus before Isis and even Neith and Kibele back to the formless void, worshipped as an amorphous creative energy that ran through all of life. The dark space of the soil and the earth, the life-giving and receiving essence of femininity, the receptacle, the alchemical vessel Soft, yielding, accommodating, and inviting. The eternal feminine, legs wide open, welcoming, creating, birthing, and devouring.
as we lower our attention away from the conscious mind, drop it down past the heart and into the energetic womb space. And here we'll allow our attention to rest on the perineum, the secret place the center of the woman's power, the secret to her extraordinary ways. And as your attention rests at that space between your vagina and anus, I want you to imagine the rose. connect with the sexuality of the Great Mother, attuning with the earth, feeling the dampness of the dew, the rose medicine hydrating us and dripping rose scented nectar moistening us, softening us and making us more liquid. Feminine energy is fluid and flexible, supple and succulent. Liquid essence cools us, refreshes and restores us comforts, nourishes, nurtures and relaxes us. And as you sit, just allow the watery nature of femininity to steep and slosh around your pelvis. Allow the waves of sensation to lap and lick and rise and fall within you. Swilling and swirling emotion inside of you. Releasing tension and engulfing your being with moist, fluid and relaxing flow. Let it pull at your pelvis, flushing the rose around your womanhood, making it fluid and relaxed. Calling, 
refreshing the moisture, relaxing the muscles. And as the rose water hydration rises up to the sacral chakra, you may feel the tingle of desire, the trickle of arousal, ripples of eroticism even as the rose stirs the goddess of sexuality and you sense her swimming in your loins. to other energy centers, Rose has relatively weak actions on the emotional and mental levels at the solar plexus. But physically, it's wonderful for the digestion. So allow the rose water to come up so it surrounds and engulfs your intestines, your stomach, and even sinking down to your rectum as it sits in the refreshing waters of rose imagine them lifting and floating relaxing in the cool pool softening stools easing cramps calming nervous energy that churns in your stomach. open into your chest area, how it softens the lungs, remain aware of your breath and how it so easily comes in and out, breathing in the healing pink softness and letting any hardness or hurt, go out with the next breath. Notice how light the air feels in your lungs, weightless, without care, simply drifting in and out of your chest. And as your awareness comes to this part of your body, perhaps you perceive how inhaling the rose not only increases neurotransmitters to make us feel calmer and more sensuous, but also estrogen and oxytocin, which increase our vitality settle our libido into good balance and also of course fill out those beautiful womanly bliss
was to invite people to witness the goddess in action through their dances. Knowing that the energy of Rose is feminine and feminine energy is passive, simply allow these messages to flow through you extending through your body and perhaps maybe registering on parts of your physicality including your face. Pleasure giving. Delectableness. Delightful. Inviting attractive come hither looks winning ways winsomeness charm enchantment loveliness sweetness Sensuous, genial, exquisite, delicate, intoxicating, tasty, sugary, tantalizing. Seducing, dulcet, appealing, harmonious. Rose irresistibly changes the substrate of your being, softening your heart. Promoting quietude, hush, restfulness and silence. Peaceful thoughts, harmony with others but also and perhaps more importantly with oneself. Rapport, solidarity, reciprocity, 
halcyon days of happiness and calm. Tranquil thoughts, serene moments, roses dove-like, harmless, conciliatory and passive. Sitting with Rose makes you rested and unhurried. reminds me of a stream with rocks and stones and yet the water passes through it's adaptable mutable changeable and it flows as it needs to flow not held, not hard, not active, merely expressive in the moment, transient, fleeting butterfly moments where emotions ebb and flow and are gone. We've reached the depths of the rose water and now fumes of perfume are evaporating up to our throat chakra. And as they swirl and enter our energetic space, breathe in the fumes and allow them to dissipate into your lungs, sweetening them, softening them, filling them with kindness of grace and gratitude. 
Words that come from the throat chakra with Rose are soft, kind, conciliatory. They are harmonious, honey-like, poetic and beautiful. Rose is compassion, kindness and open-heartedness. Rose communication is open-hearted but open to another's point of view. Compassionate and over agenda. It is harmonious, enchanting and kind. Feel the kindness, the softness, the passive beauty of Rose entering your headspace. Can you feel how the rose extends out from inside of your head and moves outwards through your etheric bodies? Boundless, without restriction, formless, expansive, expressive, liberated and free and as you bring up those beautiful, kind, attentive feelings, allow them to come up out of your head and overflow into your space. Filling and reaching out of the room you sit in, out through the windows and doors, reaching further and further until it reaches the edges of the cosmos. Rose energy pouring out of your heart space, out of your head, out of your mouth with words, out of your ears, cleaning them to make them open to other people's thoughts, pouring out love, emanating concord and affection, friendship, fellowship and high regard, expanding your etheric bodies into boundless space, extending your vibration of love, unfathomable distances into infinity, touching innumerable stars and healing the untold pain of millions. And as the energy comes to a crescendo, allow that outpouring from your heart.
attention back in now. Bring your energy right back into your body, ensuring all tendrils are pulled right back in. See yourself surrounded by a beautiful bubble of silver light. And silver rain cascading over your aura, cleaning any negativity, bringing in and holding that purity that you have worked so hard to gain. See yourself coming right back into your body down onto your haunches, wiggle into your seat, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, just before we go, I'd like to thank you for joining me on this aromatology journey, and to thank you for being an earth steward.